guys i'm back today with another video this one is going to be brought to you by the company beauty forever and today i'm going to be showcasing another pre-cut style but this one is in the body wave texture it is 20 inches in length y'all look at the wave pattern straight out of the package it's really beautiful the space on this looks really good as you can see the knots are small so if you don't want to go in and bleach your knots you absolutely don't have to and then as far as cap construction goes you get two combs on the side a comb in the back and your adjustable elastic band did wash my unit because I went in and bleached my knots since I was already bleaching knots already that day. But it was really nice to see that the body wave did not leave the building. I also did go in with some of my lace tint in the almond color. I did have to spray an extra coat because the lace was a bit on the transparent side, so it was too light. But I'm gonna go ahead and place this unit on just to see how the fit is before I tighten up the straps even more. I didn't wanna tighten them up too much, but I was like, uh-uh this is going to flop off my head. So what I did was add on my silicone band. I adjusted the elastic band as tight as I can get it. And I feel like that helped me so much. This one also has a comb in the back. So I did utilize that. I'm also gonna put some bobby pins on the side just for some extra security. Now I'm gonna go around the front of this hairline with my wax because I did notice a few little flyaways in the front. And then I'm gonna use my hot comb just to press everything back so it can be nice and sleek. does already come parted as a middle part so I'm gonna keep it right here however you can move your parting around you are not gonna be just stuck with that and for this to not have like a very huge amount of parting I feel like the parting looks good it's nice and open but you see that I'm going in with my wax and I'm making sure to go in with my hot comb at the top of this unit we're gonna keep this glueless today so I'm gonna go in with my Nairobi mousse I'm gonna go around the front of this hairline so we can give this the melted effect it does not take long for this to dry down. So if you are going to be in a rush, put your wig on, put your mousse on, let it dry down, and then bam, it's gonna look melted. After I'm done putting the mousse on, and you do not need a lot, a little bit definitely goes a long way, I'm gonna place my elastic band at the front of the unit just to kind of let everything marinate down. And if you want that to be your final step and you don't wanna do all this extra stuff I'm doing, I promise you, you could be done. This is definitely one of those wear and go type of styles because you're not gonna have to go in like the curly hair units and add all that mousse and define the curls. But today I'm gonna be using my waiver. I totally forgot about this and I pulled it out at the top of the closet. I'm sure it was collecting dust, but I said, let's throw some waves up in this. mentioned that I did add a little bit of spritz on the hair before I put the waver on just to kind of help it stay in place. I went ahead off of camera and waved the rest because y'all it did take me a while to get this hair away. See the front of the hairline is looking really good but I'm gonna place some powder into the parting space area just to kind of help it look more scalp like and I feel like you can see a little bit of my silicone band so I kind of want to cover that up. Just place a little bit around the front of the hairline where I feel like it needs to be touched up at and this is what the waves are looking like. I definitely could have did better. I'm gonna place some serum in my hands just because this hair was a little bit frizzy especially towards the ends. Yes I'm gonna run my fingers throughout the waves because I didn't want to leave them as is 
just because I do feel like I could have did better. And then I was like, eh, I feel like it's a little bit too flat at the top. So let me see what different kind of style I can achieve with this. Yeah, I'm just moving those front pieces out of the way and doing like this cute little half up, half down. Well, I guess you can kind of say pigtails. I thought it was really cute for me to kind of get the hair up out of my face and I wasn't really feeling the front of my waves. So I feel like this looks better, but I do want to go back and wave that hair up just because I ran my fingers through it and it was coming off a bit more frizzy. So I want it to look a bit more defined. And that's it guys. I feel like this looks really cute. It also is very playful and I already told you guys that I wanted to try other textures. So this body wave definitely came through. I am loving the length on this unit and also the density. Now I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna tell y'all the back ain't waved up like the front. <laughs> I definitely miss some areas, but you get the gist. The hair definitely does wave up. And like I said, after I washed it, it still kept a nice wave. The front of the hairline looks like up close, that lace, and you can see that it definitely is 100% glueless. But guys, make sure you stay tuned after this to hear my final thoughts on this unit. Quick little recap, this is 20 inches once again. This is a pre-cut wig. You guys seen that I installed it using my mousse. Now I did have to go and grab my silicone grip because as you can see, it was gonna slip and slide. I did tighten this up all the way, so it does feel really, really secure, especially with the silicone grip, but I also had to add in those bobby pins on the side for extra security. The cap actually fits me pretty good, especially for it to be a pre-cut wig because the issue that I have with some of the units are that they are really big towards this back area. Thing is like not really moving. And then I'll have that bulk of cap in the back. It also go in and tint my lace using my tint spray. And I had to go in and tint it twice because the first time I feel like I didn't add enough tint on. So it was a little bit light. Also see like a little bit of excess lace that I probably could cut off. But as of right now, I feel like it's melted down to my skin. So I'm not going to worry about it. But if I was to go back and redo it again, I would definitely trim off those little pieces. That can happen with some pre-cut wigs. All of them are not cut equally i have some that has a little bit too much lace left on and you might get some that are perfect and you're not gonna have to go in and trim it down at all definitely need to step my waving game up because y'all your girl was in here struggling this side was cool but once i got to this side i don't know what was going on <laughs> so you definitely probably notice like towards the back of the hair it's not my best way, okay? It's not my best way. I really didn't get a lot of shedding when it came to this unit, just a little bit, even during the styling process. The tangles, I am receiving a little bit in the nape area. I also suggest you go in with some type of serum just to not have as much frizziness. The ends of this were a bit dry because I did go in and wash this and also I did bleach my knots. I was already going in and bleaching other knots on units, so I said, hey, why not? But if you don't wanna bleach the knots, you don't have to. The knots on this unit are not big at all. So, this unit, after I washed it, some of the wave did come back because y'all know with some body waves, after you wash it, that wave is gone. But this one had a nice little body wave texture to it. Like I stated before, I think pre-cut wigs are the way to go, especially for beginners and those who just really don't want to have to worry about any of the lace. If you are feeling this one, I am going to make sure to leave the links down below. Guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.